What's going on YouTube? I uh, figured I'd just show you all my engine mounts for this E38. Uh, I know a lot of guys were curious about them uh, and the shape of them and the dimensions and all that. So I figured I'd give you all a quick rundown. Uh, I stayed up pretty late last night making them and I just hit them with some black paint today. Um, so I'm calling them good and I'm getting ready to put them on the car. Um, but this is the uh, the passenger, passenger side. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this is the driver's side. Um, this one was actually pretty easy. Um, I ended up going to a, uh, a metal shop uh, to where I'm at locally. Paint's still wet, but I went, ended up going to a metal shop. And this is, uh, I want to say, quarter inch thick uh, steel. I got my caliper. Yeah, 0.22 inches, so quarter inch thick. Um, it's a quarter inch thick and it's uh, an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Yeah, 1.5 inches. So just to give you a idea of the, the type of material I was using, this is what I used previously and uh, it just failed. And this is 0.038 wall thickness. This stuff is a uh, quarter inch, which I believe is 0.25, which would be 0.250. So anyway, uh, it, this this piece cost me about 50 bucks. I bought five feet of it. It's one and a half inch by one and a half inch square tubing, and it's 0.250 inches wall thickness, uh, and it's pretty stout stuff. Um, I ended up using up a lot of these uh, cutoff wheels to cut through it um, with my grinder, but I got through it. I just bought a 10 pack, and I used about half, so... Anyway, um, I'll give you all the quick rundown on the dimensions of this guy. Uh, obviously, the angles um, are going to be determined on your engine placement. You know, if you have uh, 4L80 or T56 or 4L60 or whatever, like, and if you use a custom trans mount or custom engine mounts or, or uh, oil pan or whatever, like, whatever path you des decide to go will we'll definitely change things, but... I figured I'd make a video just to show you guys what I did, but um, this is obviously the driver's side engine block uh, plate, and then you can see I mounted it uh, low on the plate, so as far as the plate goes, uh, I mounted it, what, about inch and three quarters down, inch and three quarters down the plate. Uh, it's a four and a half inch tall plate or wide, yeah, tall plate. So I mounted it on the bottom half of the plate. And reason being is uh, you have to get around the steering gearbox. So you guys can see it here. So you guys can kind of see the uh, engine position here. So that's your steering gearbox. And the, uh, the plate itself is going to sit right here. So really the only area you have to work with is like right here. Um, and my engine, uh, my oil pan is about uh, three quarters or a half an inch above this, the, uh, the sway bar. So that's the purpose of that. Um, so that's, that's why it's lower on the plate. So this dimension is 13 inches. And then I made a little bit less than a 90 degree angle. This dimension is, we'll go eight inches, but it's also at a angle there. And that's to meet up with the uh, factory BMW engine mount. So that's the driver's side. And passenger side and this one was kind of a pain them pain to make only because of the odd shape and uh, you know kind of like compound angles um, 
So on the LS, the uh, AC compressor sits like right here. So you're kind of, so block is going straight and then you hit AC compressor. It would have been easy if I just ignored the AC compressor, but I want to run AC on this car eventually. So I had to make this kind of like a little bit less than a 90 and then like a funky compound bend. Um, you're, Cause you're kind of like doing two angles here. So it's a little funky, but uh, this one I just mounted in the center of the plate. And then this dimension is just under six inches. This guy is eh, maybe five and three quarters, but it's at an angle. And then my last piece right here was probably four or five inches. But uh, like I said, because of the angles I cut it at, it's just such a funky shape. Uh, this one took me a little bit longer wasn't hard to do it was just pretty time consuming because you're trying to cut it check for fitment cut it check for fitment cut it check for fitment and like tack weld it and then uh, it was just a pain pain in the butt like i said it wasn't really hard it was just pretty time consuming but knocked it out um and this is my second attempt like i said the the first time i used that pretty thin tubing so anyway uh, I'm going to be mounting them up here shortly. I was just letting the paint dry and it's still a little wet. So um, I'll get them mounted up on the car and uh, I'll show you guys that in the next video.